Okay, students. Now, in this question, this is another um, tricky question from current and electricity. The question is, question states that in a circuit shown, all the resistors are identical and all the emitters have negligible internal resistance. The reading on the emitter A1 is 0 0.6 ampere. What are the readings on the other emitters? This is the question with no other information. The only information which is available with me is that these resistors are identical. So let's say, let's assume that I will give some values for this type of questions because I have one clue that the current in this em emitter is 0 0.6 ampere. What is the current in this emitter? that is 0 0.6 ampere it means that i have to go through this all with respect to those calculations let me select a color for that and then i will move on okay this green is fine yes so here 0 0.6 ampere is the current what is the current actually that current is 0 0.6 ampere this 0 0.6 ampere current means that when i have this is 0 0.6 ampere current so if this is a resistor this is a resistor so from two resistors the current is basically 0 0.6 so i'm going to select the value of voltage is 12 volt assume that i have a battery of 12 volt then what would be the resistance of these two resistors because they are identical so they give you 0 0.6 ampere so that means that if i have the resistance of i need r r is equal to v divided by i so v is 12 volt and divided by current is 0 0.6 so it means it would be 20 ohm so if total resistance of these two is 20 ohm it means r1 is of 10 ohm and r2 is of 10 ohm so this is what this is what this all is just for this was my requirement it was not the question requirement that's why i did this all now it means that this is 10 this is 10 this is 10 10 10 and 10 ohm resistor so all of these are 10 ohm resistors. So if I say that current flowing through these 10 ohm resistors is for the 20 ohm resistors, the current is 0 0.6 ampere, right? This one. Okay, let's talk about this one now. The 12 volt battery is feeding this 10 ohm resistor, which is basically half of these two. It means current would be double. So in A3, current will be two times of A1 which is equals to 2 times of 0 0.6 which means that it would be 1.2 ampere because the values of current and resistances are related with each other now let's talk about the third aspect here resistance is of 30 ohm so 30 ohm resistance is three times than 10 ohm resistor which is passing through a3 so it means the current would be one third. So if I say that what is the current in A4, current in A4 will be A4 is one third of A3. Why? Because the resistance is three times. So when resistance is three times, current would be one third. So let's discuss that. A4 is basically one by three of 1.2. So it gives me 0 0.4 ampere. So I got all these readings. Now the only reading which is left behind, I would love to apply a proper rule over here. This is a current which is 0 0.4 ampere. This is the current which is basically... Sorry, this is the direction of this current. Now, this is the current which was actually 1.2 ampere. It means this is the current 
this the direction of the current would be this way not exactly that way this is basically 0 0.6 ampere by the reference of positive turn of the battery i'm going to select all these points now the situation is what current is leaving this so this leaving current is a2 a2 is equals to a3 plus a4 i am going to correct this arrow a4 plus a1 got it so it is actually this is 0 0.4 0 0.6 and 1.2 all together so it gives you 2.2 ampere this is the current a2 so if you write all these let's check the options here this should be a2 then a3 and then a4 so a2 is 2.2 over a2 is 2.2 so by just first of this option or by selecting this option your answer is correct but let's check the remaining a3 is 1.2 so over a3 is 1.2 yes this is the a3 this is 1.2 it is a3 and then what about a4 a4 is 0 0.4 so a4 is 0 0.4 so this is basically the solution of this question i hope you have uh, enjoyed this solution it was very simple and gentle solution nothing to be done nothing to be worried about